Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Tiny Town VR, and yes folks, we are back once again, and today we are back in the Sinking City. Now if you missed this episode, I'm going to flash it in the top right corner, but we started work on this magnificent looking Sinking City, and you guys had a ton of feedback and suggestions from the last episode, so we're going to be doing some of that here today. We're going to try to complete this area. Uh, it's going to take a little bit of work, I'm going to add some more buildings, going to add some more things that you guys requested, including maybe a granny rescue, an opposing faction, and maybe another disaster that might be happening here in this area. So, like I said, if you guys missed the last episode, flash it in the top right corner. If you guys have any more suggestions for this area or brand new disasters here in Tiny Town, comment below. And if you're enjoying this series on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button and helps out my channel. And let's do this. All right, so we are ready for our first build in here, and people wanted to see a sanctuary city. So, what it is, and a lot of people were suggesting it be an aircraft carrier, and I don't have an aircraft carrier model, uh, nor do I think I can actually build one here in Tiny Town that's going to look respectable, but it's going to be a boat where they're building like a little sanctuary city where people can get away, kind of similar to the little, uh, we'll call this, I don't even call this a city really, this is just like a little area where some survivors are, which this guy is apparently floating off the bridge, that's not very good, okay, go ahead and get you back there buddy, you're okay. So yeah, we're going to start off by building that all right let's go into maritime here and we're gonna grab ourselves a ship we got to find a worthy one though we don't want cargo containers probably something similar to what's uh, over in the bay over there I swear every time I see this tanker here I always think this is the stormworks tanker like this looks exactly like it all right let's go get rid of that real quick I uh, probably wouldn't be using a tanker we're gonna use Ooh, maybe this that could work all right, so let me figure out where I want to stick this. Let me go and turn off snapping here. All right, so this is the base for our city. So you can see the ship has washed ashore uh, what probably would have been, I would say, mountains out here. And uh, why did this even happen? I'm kind of thinking maybe a tsunami uh, came through here. Maybe not the same tsunami since everything's so uh, uh, decayed, but maybe a tsunami came in from another direction somehow. And that's why the city is the way it is, and it's just kind of stayed this way. So, this is the base of the city. It's all built off of this big cargo ship. I'm going to build, like, docks and piers that come out. We'll try to stick some buildings. Not like those buildings, but, like, kind of uh, buildings that you would see that are, like, makeshift and put together uh, by a bunch of little different pieces. And I'm going to try to make this look really nice. And we'll have, like, the main entrance over here, so you would have to come up by boat. And maybe this will be a city where you can trade... Uh, you can live, and yeah, I think this is going to be pretty cool. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and get to work on this. Now, before I do this, I had an idea, and I know I've seen the suggestion. I wasn't sure how I would do it. So we have the sinking city. What if we had a sky city? Would that work? I have an idea how we might be able to start that. Maybe we'll do that next episode. All right, so I'm gonna give you guys a little progress update as to what I'm building here. So you can see the city's walls have started. Uh, this is the city's main dock. You'll have like several docks that come off it. Uh, ships would pull in here. I'm gonna try to leave this channel uh, pretty open. That way ships can get in and out of the city. We need a name for the city itself. Anyways, you can see uh, they've created walls. They've got a nice wood paneling uh, to extend the city out. So we're going to make this out of shacks, uh, anything that we can do to make buildings in here. Uh, we'll try to make a, some sort of power supply or power source here. Maybe I have some generators or something we'll stick up. And yeah, I think we're going to try to make this look pretty awesome here. I'm already actually liking the way this looks from here. Oh yeah, that's cool. Alright, let's keep working. Alright, so you can see that I was really hard at work here on this new area. Uh, it's been a while. I've actually been building this for about 30 minutes now. And I just didn't want to talk about it until we actually finished it. So, here is the city once again. Uh, a lot of it hasn't changed here in the front, but it's the inside that has changed the whole lot. So, anyways, the boats arrive here. Uh, drop off supplies, pick up supplies. It's like a, uh, it's not in the center, but we'll call it a central hub here. But yeah, you can see the people walk up there's a lot of business going on here you've got shops and stalls uh, people trying to sell their goods their services 
you can walk through here. I kind of made this look as junky as possible. So yeah, you see some boxes stored up. You got tents in here, people standing around selling, uh, just trying to live their day-to-day -day lives here. You got a little restaurant right here. This guy's waiting on some service. Uh, I guess they would be eating a lot of fish here, uh, but I do have another uh, means of food over there. We'll go over that here in a second. So we can travel through here. You can see junk, a workshop over to the right. Uh, you got some platforms with beds on it. You got uh, guards up here making sure nobody tries to attack these walls, which I don't know if I pointed this out, uh, but you can see the walls are lined up with spikes. So that probably wouldn't do anything to a ship. But if a person was to try to get up there, I don't think they're going to be getting up there anytime soon. So you've got that, you've got like a little mobile home that's been uh, built up here, tents, uh, you've got these uh, little barriers, people are planting food everywhere. Uh, here's another guy, this guy always reminds me of Rick Grimes from The Walking Dead. Uh, he's up there. So that's the main part of the city. I've got one more area I want to show you guys. So we've been talking about food. Obviously fish is probably the easiest thing to do, but we do have a little farm back here, which I think looks pretty cool. So you got the farmers, you got some chickens, some ducks, uh, they're planting here. You got a water supply, because I'm pretty sure this is salt water, so uh, you got a water supply up here. Uh, you've got the little plants here, they're planting corn, which I don't know if you could really put all this stuff together. Probably not, it'd probably like cross pollinate or whatever the heck you call it. But we've got a bunch of stuff here, and I think it looks cool. So you got another tent over here. Uh, for lights, they do have these little light generators over here. There's a couple more. And then of course we have the good old fashioned candles, which you can see some there. So one thing I was thinking of, okay, so the city is down on the docks and this wooden platform, but what's on the ship is probably who's in charge of the city. So you can walk up this little uh, makeshift ramp here. So yeah, this is whoever is running this joint. And you can see back here, uh, they probably do all their business in here and down in the ship too. Uh, you can see guards, you got a sniper up there, you got a couple guards down here. So we'll have to figure out who is running this place. I'm pretty sure they're not evil, but they might be in it for the money or whatever currency, uh, which I don't know if there would be currency. Maybe they're just trading stuff. But whatever it is, uh, they're in here for the power. And another couple things, uh, you can notice that I uh, actually built a back wall to this, and we've actually expanded the water and added some stuff to that. So this is what it looks like from a distance. This actually looks really cool. I'm really happy with that area. So you've got that. Of course, I pointed it out earlier, you have the little survivors up here. And then back here, this is where we need to work on the bandit camp. So the bandits are going to be here. And I think maybe we'll give them a helicopter and everything. They're going to be a really strong force but I think they know they just can't go around and steal everything they have to kind of let the area do its own thing but then they go in and take what they want all right so here we are in the next section this is the bandit camp here so I really decorated this area I'm pretty proud of it so you can see the bandits here uh, they're gonna be in blue so that's that faction now if you notice from the last episode we had some green people over here. These are going to be the friendly military. And this was like a little supply depot where you can buy some stuff. Uh, but over here, these are the bandits. So bandits are in blue. And you can see they're all in here. They actually have somebody captured uh, down in the cage. Uh, they're pretty fortified in this hospital. Uh, you can go into here and you can see they have a little shooting range, a little camping area. Now they primarily live in the building itself, so that's why you're not seeing a lot of beds and stuff on the outside. Uh, but you're seeing supplies up here, they've got positions up on the corners of the buildings, machine guns, sandbags. This thing is pretty nifty looking. Now another thing that gives them the upper hand is the whole fact they have a helicopter up here on top of the uh, hospital here. You can see the pilot uh, they're setting up here you got some more supplies probably bring in supplies maybe from the normal city uh, potentially but yeah let me go and zoom out here you can see this area that looks cool hold on what does it look like can you see the bandit camp from here uh no you can't that's how dense this area has gotten like you can't even see that you can see the little survivor house up there but other than that you can't see it what about the survivor house can you see the bandit camp well obviously I think you can yeah they don't I don't think they'd be too safe up here. If there was a raid or something, that'd be horrible. So, another thing we need to go do. So, this was over here with the grannies. Now, you're going to notice the grannies use the gray vehicles. So, I think the grannies are going to be coming in for a little bit of a rescue here. Uh, maybe they're trying to get some people out of the area. I don't know where they're going to take them, the whole fact that the... Uh, yeah, that area is not much better than this area. So, they're kind of rescuing them for no reason. 
So if you look here, we have an incoming rescue from Granny's. They should probably be going to the bandit camp uh, to take it out, but we have attack helicopters here in the front. You got like the Huey style helicopters in the back. You can even see a Granny hanging off the side of one. Uh, grannies are a little insane, but probably coming to pick up somebody. Maybe they're going to come rescue those people in the middle. I don't know. Maybe we should make another little scene of some people stranded. So I'm thinking back here, we can basically finish off this city. And maybe this is where the rescue is coming in. Maybe there's some bandits attacking, uh, maybe some civilians over here. So let me go ahead and set that up. All right, so one of our last pieces that we're going to do here in this city. If you guys have any more suggestions, let me know down in the comment section below. But we have another little survivor camp. And yeah, they're actually under attack right now. So you can see they're on one of these little islands. They got a couple campers, a little stall here, kind of a makeshift little base uh, it's right if you're looking for where it is there's the bandit base over there and the big cities over to the left so yeah they're under attack you can see bandits have actually climbed up on the islands uh, there is a boat on the way with bandits in it and you can see the one bandit got hit here so yeah they probably called in for rescue to get off of this a uh, little crazy area or get out of this little crazy area I should say you see somebody's injured over here we got people in the watchtower I think this looks cool. So let's go ahead and zoom out on the whole thing. So yeah, the grannies, let's go ahead and tilt the helicopters a little bit. Uh, they're going a little bit more this way. So we'll kind of turn them. We'll stick this one over here. You know what? Maybe while they're at it, they can probably just shoot a couple missiles at the bandit base. I don't think they know what's coming. That looks awesome. This whole build looks awesome. This is one of my new favorite areas. And I probably say that every time, but... Man, this one was just so cool to build. Now, question is, do we go to the sky? Do we do a sky city? That might be a big possibility. We'll have to see. I'll see what the feedback is from you guys on this episode. But yeah, if you think I missed anything, comment below. Thank you guys for all the love and support. We got quite a bit done here today. The main bulk of it was that huge city, but I think that came out probably the best that I can imagine it. I uh, would like to have some more apocalypse pieces, but... I don't know. I think it came out good. But anyways, I want to thank you guys for all the love and support on the Tiny Town series. You guys are absolutely amazing. And we will see you guys next time in Tiny Town.